Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Baby Lock Celebrate Serger. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with basic four thread serging. First of all, we need to make sure our settings are correct, and you want to make sure that your stitch length is in the standard area, that's the white area here, and I like to have it close to three. That seems to be about the right stitch length. Now that's going to govern your feed dogs, how much of a bite that they take into the fabric. And then I like to have the stitch width here on M. Um, that seems to be about middle of the road, about right. Depending on your fabric, you may want to have it higher or lower. And then we want to have our tension dials right here on four. That seems to be giving us a nice balanced stitch. And then your um, differential needs to be right here on N for neutral. Now, if you're sewing something that's stretchy, like a knit that tends to stretch out and be a little wavy, you may need to bump this up a little bit. So if you're sewing a knit, test it out, see what your seam looks like, and then bump this up however much you need to. But let's keep it on end for now. Now, this is important to check this because sometimes if you have your cover on, I have noticed that when I take my cover off, sometimes this gets bumped up a little bit or maybe my hand bumps it down. So just make sure that's right on end there. Okay, so we're just going to do a standard four thread serging. I've got different colors in each of the spools so that you can see what part of the stitch is being formed. So here we go. I lifted up the presser foot by just lifting up that toe. That, it makes sure that I don't have to lift this up all the time and then forget that it's up because it will surge, but it won't have any tension. So we got to leave that down. Just lift up the toe. There we go. Take a little bit of time. and then you can cut your thread right there. Now notice it cut the needle threads first. That's because the looper threads are a lot longer. They take a lot more uh, to make a stitch. This is what your stitch should look like. The needle threads should make two lines like that that are straight, and on the back you should be able to see the needle threads poking through both layers of the fabric. If you can't see that, or if it looks a little puckered up, it may mean that your tensions are too high here, or possibly that something's caught in the back. So make sure everything is flowing nice and freely. Also, make sure your thread tree is all the way up. Okay, now what about sealing the ends of, of your, or securing the ends of your thread there? I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so I start surging, and then I take a few stitches by hand so that I've taken about two stitches into the fabric, leave my needle down, lift up my presser foot, smooth out that thread tail, and bring that thread tail around in front of the cutter. Make sure it's in front, not in back or off to the side. So now the cutter is going to cut off that thread tail, and the serger surges right across. Right across that thread tail. Now, for the end, I'm going to show you uh, my favorite way of doing that, and that's to use a darning needle. Now, I like to leave about two or three inches here and snip it off so you don't have extra long threads at the end. So you have a thread tail about this long. Take a large-eyed needle like this and poke the eye end back through the stitches like this for about an inch or so. Then you take that thread tail. I like folding it in half. It's a lot easier to thread it through if I fold it and then just carefully poke that through. Now I've got that threaded. Give it a little slack, pull it through, and I have finished that end. I can also trim off this thread tail to make it nice and neat. That's how you finish both the beginning and the end of your seam to make it nice and sturdy. Now if I was constructing something that I also had a seam going across this way, I wouldn't need to do that because that second seam would seal the first seam. Next, we're going to show you how to take the stitches out. I'm going to just make a new seam here. Now, if I want to take out these stitches, first of all, I'm going to cut that one short, but I'm going to find the needle threads. Now, the needle threads are going to be a lot shorter 
then the looper threads. And of course, I can see that they're going to be the green and the red in this case. But if you had all the same color, you would go for the short threads, find those, and then pull those out. Now, you can also take your needle threads from in here. That's OK, too. In fact, I might need to do that in this case. Take my needle thread and make sure you're only pulling the needle thread because if you pull a looper thread, that's going to make it everything lock up and you don't want that. Just want to pull that nice straight needle thread, then the looper threads come right off. That's an easy, quick way to take out a serger seam. Check out our other videos on this machine. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, or ideas for other videos you'd like to see, put those in the comments area down below. We have lots of other videos here on our Montevilla YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.